Welcome, my name is Lucas and this is Vartus Forums. Um, what we have today is the AccuSense uh, recorder, turbo recorder. The same recorder we had it last week with the AOC, uh, audio over the coax. So today we have the facial recognition of this recorder. And this recorder is just working with a simple turbo camera, two megapixel at the moment. It can take up to eight megapixel, um, but this is a full functional um, facial recognition system. So this kind of system is gonna allow you to recognize the face and whatever face you have in the library. Uh, you can create your own library, not just one. You could have a few multiple libraries, name them whatever you want. Uh, it could be just a VAP customer or stranger or like suspicious or something like that. Um, so I'd just like to show you how to create the library and how the camera is working together with this um, a turbo recorder. It's an AccuSense uh, turbo recorder. Uh, the model number will be in the description in, of this video. So you can look at it uh, later in the PDF as well. Um, but it's exactly the same as I had last time on the latest firmware. So uh, let me show you the actual camera and the recorder. The recorder is the brain for this whole setup here. So um, the, the camera itself uh, is just like I said, it could be any high definition turbo camera that is connected to this uh, this recorder. So let me uh, show you the actual uh, recorder. So there it is. And like you see here, the camera is already picking up my face and is matching with the database I have here. I'm just gonna quickly show you the model number of the recorder. This is the model number of the recorder, IDS7204HUHI-M1FA-A. Uh, this type of recorder, it's a full channel recorder and you can get an 8, 16 channels if you like as well. Um, uh, there's also the uh, M2 and that will do the same. In the case when you're using the facial recognition, um, there's a like intrusion detection line crossing in this recorder as well. So you need to choose which option, which feature you like to use if you're going to use the facial recognition, uh, which is by the way only available for one camera at a time. Um, that will only work for the facial recognition. If you like to have the intrusion detection um, to work on this recorder, that will be just um, that kind of uh, feature, the smart analytics like intrusion detection, line crossing, but the facial recognition won't be available. So you can choose one or another uh, to get them working. So quick, uh, quick view on the model number, the firmware. So this is what we have here. So go back to the live view quickly. Um, so I'm probably gonna need to uh, get remove my face from the camera for a second. Here you go, and then start. It will start picking me up. So you can see here, start matching the database straight away if the face shows up. Uh, so if I click into it, that will show me the playback and and the actual library database picture. Uh, but where is the database on this recorder? So in the smart analysis. You see there's a face picture uh, database. So I created a database named Fortis. Um, I in, in part of myself and Mr. Bean here. Uh, so what we have here right now, it's the just the simple details about this person. Uh, if you like, you can put some ID, passport ID, whatever, like other identification, uh, number, the phone number if you like, and uh, name, and you can choose the sex there as well. So. Um, how to add the face to the library? You just need to click the add button and if you have the USB connected to your uh, recorder uh, you just go and select uh, whatever um, picture you like to import it. So I have a few pictures on this USB stick so I'm just import it here and just go back and there it is. I have two now imported so they will be exactly like for like. So I can just remove that one. There's no need for two of the exact same faces. Uh, if you like to export the database, I can uh, select them all and export them to your USB stick as well, if I need to. Uh, so all the export face, facial um, uh, pictures, and I can have them listed if I like with the name. So that will um, that will that will give you that uh, ability to navigate through the list of hundred different faces and and check who it is and what kind of details you have here about this person. Um, so this is the library, very simple. So you can just keep adding or removing or edit the 
um, the face you like. So you can just click edit and you can just edit the information about the person. Uh, also, you have the smart search. and the smart search, you can just search for any face that has been detected. Uh, what we have here, this is the search results for all the facial recognition um, events. Um, so I can select any of the faces has been detected and just add that face to the library. So I can search within the actual um, database that has been created in the background. So with every face been created in the background and I can search for that face. Um, and I can add this face, I'm sorry. So once I can, once I add the face, it will be within the library. Um, what else we have here? Um, if you go back to live view, uh, like you see here, as I showed you just a second ago, it will pick up any face that match the database. Um, but also you have this small tiny icon here, facial recognition. And that will bring up this nice page with all the facial recognition uh, detections in the past. So if there was anything been detected, uh, you can just um, kind of look at the uh, breakdown of what face, most, most recent face has been detected. Also, you can have the search record and you can go with the settings and display you know, and hide the faces that then they are in the library or not. And if they, if they fail, pick up the face from the library or not, you can hide those. So it's only going to be uh, showing those that they're actually within the library. Um, what else you have there is a search for the record. So I can search for any face been detected and based on my library and I can tell if the person attend this day or not. So you can have like a small tiny time and attendance uh, feature here as well. Um, so in this case, I just select the whatever time attendance time here from eight o'clock, for example, and just to check in or so. And that will tell me if that person is late or not. Uh, very basic kind of time and attendance. If you like to use it, that's that's great. You can export that record to an Excel file if you need to as well. And then your payroll department can work on it. Um, so go back to the previous page and go back to the smart analysis. What else you have there? It's really cool feature is you can actually search by the picture. So when you search by the picture, you can actually select uh, the camera, third party camera, it could be Gardi come over with the picture of somebody and they just like to look at the recorder and the data that you have on your recorder if there was any person like they walk into your shop. So once I select and pick the face, so for example, I'm just going to select my face here. So this is the face to upload. I can just upload my face and search within the database on similarity level of 80%. Um, so only for today, for example, or whatever time frame you select, um, and pick the color camera. So just go search, and that will pick it up every time I show up on the front of the camera. So, and you can just actually see the event playing away as well. And if you like, you can straight away from that page add that face to the library if that face is not in the library already. Um, <clears throat> So really, really cool uh, piece of equipment uh, and really user friendly with regards to um, in the local GUI. It's, it's nothing special about it. It's just a GUI for just like you would find on the iSeries recorders at the very beginning, uh, like last year or so. Um, so if you like to have all those details here, you can access them always via the web browser or IBMS software as well. So um, like you see here on the top of the page, that will indicate if there was any faces matching there as well. So you can quickly have a look. If you're not looking at the live, you can uh, look at the historical most recent events this way as well. So if they fail to match the picture or not, um, you can just play it away if you need to. Uh, so let me show you the actual um, uh, web browser now. So on the web browser, uh, it's also very straightforward. So let me see the web. Here, here you go. So this is our recorder. Uh, within the web browser, uh, you have this um, configuration and the face library picture on the left hand side. So in a case, if you like to import all the pictures that you have sent via email or so, you can import them this way. Uh, you can edit all the pictures that are added to your library 
you can create a library, additional library, you can give it a name um, and different options to customize the tag names as, as, as such as well. Um, so everything pretty much is customized um, to a certain stage. And like you see here, all the faces that I have connected, uh, they will be all listed in the face library. Simple as that. So if I have the face here, I can just modify, I can uh, give it a name, date of birth, phone number if I like to. Uh, I can also have this kind of view as a thumbnail kind of uh, and just to view what can, what what picture do you have do you have enrolled to, to the system um, but this is really um, by the web browser I'll be using the web browser if you like to manage like or import a larger database uh, like a few hundred faces if you want and to that database so we can import them in batches if you need to and just click on the import and browse for all the files all the pictures and you just select whatever faces you like and import them to the system. Simple as that. So web browser, it's, it's nice and cool and very easy to use in the case if you like to do the uh, batch import. And if you don't want to, or you don't have access to the actual recorder local GUI, uh, but also there's an IVMS software and IVMS software, uh, one of the latest versions I have here, um, you have this uh, recorder connected. So this is the recorder, it's added in already. And you have the data retrieval. So in the data retrieval, I just select the whatever time frame, start time, and an end time, and then select the camera in question and search for all the results. So any face that has been picked up will be listed here. So you can see my face pick it up, no problem. And I can play it back if I like to. Um, if if you need to look at the event itself, um, I can also add this uh, add this face to my database. So if I have multiple databases, I can just mark this face, all right, database uh, with a suspicious uh, behavior or something, give it a person name and whatever details you have there. And that will import that uh, face to your database on the recorder remotely. So it don't have to be run on the local network. You can access this uh, recorder remotely. Once you have the ports open, you can uh, manage all the data. Um, in the case if you like to search for that face, so for example, this is the face that been picked up, I can click the search by picture and that will try to scan the face and search for any face been detected in the past as well. So obviously there will be just my face in this case right now. Um, but also I can search by picture and select the tour party picture. So again, you can use the software and you can you can just get the email from Gardi or whoever is looking that they've been looking for and you just select the picture, import that, and you can see the system's gonna scan my face here from the picture on the left-hand side. Uh, once the picture is scanned, it will search for that face within the database. So it's really, really very simple. Um, it will pick up the face even if you wear the mask. Um, I tested here and it's really, it's really good because it's measuring the actual distance between your ears, nose, and the eyes, um, so yes. Uh, it's really, really accurate. Um, and like you see here, with, uh, with the camera, like a two pixel even, um, it will, will pick it up every single face nicely. Uh, this recorder can actually take up to eight megapixel. So this is another uh, advantage for, for, this, uh, for this recorder to have there with the facial recognition. Uh, I can search for a person name. So I know some, some person in my database named Luke. So for example, I just search and all the Luke would be um, any any person with the name look would be um, will be further off here and will show me when they were and what time what is the similarity level um, detection for this person as well so really really straightforward like you see I can export a picture uh, export a whole segment if you like to and um, that's another cool thing um, person names that's done by the event like I said you can just search through and all the events, so really, really straightforward. Uh, like you see here, the, the whole system, it's really neat kind of design system. Um, once you, you know, get your hands on uh, either on a GUI uh, for um, local GUI of the recorder or via the IVMS software, or if you like to go with the web browser, but you can also access the, the database and the library via the IVMS software, via the remote configuration. So if I go uh, in operation and go basic setting, I will have my uh, kind of a web browser logged in. So you have the face uh, picture library listed. 
and I can do it the same way as I've done via the web browser. So all my data will be here as well. So I can manage all that if I need to. Um, so that's pretty much it of this recorder. And um, it's, like I said, um, really, really simple, but a very powerful piece of equipment. Uh, so if you're looking for a price on this type of machine, as I, as I said before, it's a four channel machine and it's so powerful. And again, it's like it can do so much. And, and then, like I said in the last webinar, it also can do a AOC, the audio over the coax at the same time. So you have the audio, you have the facial recognition, uh, the facial, uh, facial um, matching. So when, once you're in the web browser, I just want to show you the comparison as well, just to make sure what's gonna happen in the case if the face is detected. It's not just so you can search within the database and, and see if the face has been detected, you can also uh, trigger some uh, actions. So in the case if the face is matching my database, uh, I can notify my surveillance center, I can uh, go full screen, upload picture to the cloud if I need to, uh, set audible warnings, send an email and so on. Um, the same for uh, if the face is mismatching and you can search um, within what library you like to match the face. And then you can choose what actions you know, um, available you have there. So you can trigger even the alarm output of, of the recorder if you, have, if you like to, um, or any other camera, because if you have the IP camera, those uh, alarm outputs of the cameras will be listed here as well. Um, so really, really, really cool, cool feature. Um, once, once we have that done, I just let me show you the actual app on the phone, because app on the phone is also gonna uh, trigger the um, notifications. So let me go to my phone screen. So there is, and uh, there's my phone uh, screen. So I can just go to my Hit Connect. In the Hit Connect, you can see this is the recorder that is listed. And um, once this recorder is listed, I can actually uh, turn on and off the notifications. There's a cool feature, recent feature that it will allow you to turn on and off um, those uh, notifications. I can pick up my camera, just look at the camera as well. Um, also, I can just go to notifications. So every time I show up on, on the front of the camera, I will receive the notifications. You can see the face compare alarm, comparison alarm comes up here. So I can go to the exact um, event and search within what happened in the past. So you can tell uh, who was it and if that person matched your and uh, library or not. So if I go with any other. So I can hear there's also an audio because there's a built-in microphone in this camera. So uh, it's all working perfectly fine. Um, like you see here, it's really, really, really cool um, to have for anyone who has a shop on the shop, maybe um, with hotels, if you like, uh, any kind of industry, you, you might find it uh, very useful in the case if you like to, you know, filter off the people and try to navigate who is um, in, in your premises and who was in your premises. So just in case if uh, anything happened in the past, you can search within the database and tell if the person was there or not. Uh, specifically, uh, it doesn't have to be the picture taken by your recorder. It could be just a third party picture you can search within. So um, yes, it's really, really uh, pretty much that's all I have for you today. But if you have any questions, uh, please contact me um, or like our technical department. Um, we also have this recorder for sale and uh, the same with the camera. So you can contact our sales, your sales manager, they're gonna get you the price. So if you have any queries, uh, please contact us. So, uh, thank you very much and thank you for uh, watching. Thank you for your time. And I will see you next time, um, probably in the next uh, week or two. So take care, guys. Thank you very much. Stay awesome as always. Bye.